this exercise I'm going to show how to use a 2D viewer for horizon interpretation. In this example we are going to interpret a 2D horizon, but in a similar manner you can use a 2D viewer for 3D horizon interpretation. Let's begin and add a 2D line to the 3D scene. For this right click on the 2D line item and the tree, add. Find the well correlation line in the list and change the action to load default data. Click OK to add the line. Now let's pop up a 2D viewer. For this, right click on the attribute name, display 2D viewer. Alternatively, you can find the item toolbar and click on the 2D viewer icon. I'm going to maximize this 2D viewer and create a new 2D horizon item that we'll be tracking. Right click on the 2D horizon, check new. We are going to keep all the parameters by default. Notice that we are going to track the peak event. And you can either close this window or just move it aside. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and start interpreting a horizon. In the section of the track mode, you can either drop seats by using the left mouse click or you can, uh, with the same left mouse click, hold it and drag. Uh, try to fill in the whole 2D line, but uh, if the horizon doesn't propagate uh, to some areas, you can always switch to the manual draw mode and fill in those areas with the manual interpretation. In the manual draw mode, you can also use single left mouse clicks to interpret and a double click to finish your interpretation. To remove interpretation in both section auto track and manual draw, hold the control key and drag along the area where you want uh, the interpretation to be erased. Now in the manual draw you can also use an option snap to event. By doing so the horizon will be snapped to the closest and strongest peak event. Now, when you are satisfied with the horizon, you can right-click on it and save. Give it a name. I'm going to go back to the 2D viewer. And if you'd like to continue interpreting your horizon on other 2D lines, you can notice that the current 2D viewer shows the intersections with the other 2D lines available in this project. So if, say, you'd like to continue interpreting it on the strike 4 line, you can right-click on it and show line. By doing so, another 2D viewer will be popped up, where you can activate your current 2D horizon and continue the interpretation. This concludes the workflow showing how to track horizons into D viewers.